Well, the weather's nice the next few days, so you might want to get outside. But when winter does come back, we have a few suggestions for you. This week's CBS 58 Hometown Store Winter Edition celebrates a great way to pass the time during these cold months. Yeah, I checked out one of the area's newest and oldest bowling alleys. But, Michael, you found... Uh one that actually stays away from fried food. Yeah, what a concept. That's <laughs> right, Mike. Brown Deer Lanes has been around for decades, but they've strayed from tradition when it comes to food options. I tell you what, hanging out at Brown Deer Lanes for a while, you strike it big in so many ways. You have a lot of open bowling chances and also some great food here. There's not a deep fryer. There's just an air fryer, right, Kim? Yes. Stars Nicholas, good yes. to see you, owner here. And you know this place very Inside well. Inside and out. Since uh, how, you were seven. Yes. And you first learned about or came here, yes. right? And then your your dad owned this first, 1972. You took over when you were 20. Correct. And it's involved into this. Yes. <laughs> uh, the food. Let's 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 hone in on that for a second. Pizza. Yes, homemade pizzas. You have four ovens here. Yes. And you have something new, fairly new. Yes, this is our bruschetta um, flatbread. Okay, and what else, what else? So we have our, these are some of our catering food. This is our vegetable tray with mm -hmm. homemade dip. This is our beef meatballs with a homemade sauce. Okay. Um, over here we have another catering option, which is our ha sliced ham and our fruit tray. Uh, then from our grill menu, we have a taco salad, our tater tots, which is a, these are our island tots with pineapple, barbecue, and onions. Uh, this is a chicken quesadilla option. This is a wrap that we have, which is a chicken bacon ranch wrap. These are one of our homemade pizzas. I think we already went over that. Yeah. And then this is a breaded chicken sandwich. And then we have a taco platter from our catering. Do you feel bad you don't have a deep fryer here? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. Who needs don't it? Don't need it. It's healthier. It's yes. healthier choice. So again, talk a little bit about that open bowling concept here. Okay, so open bowling is great because it's the only sport that an entire family can do no matter any age. Yeah. All right. And one more thing with the catering before I forget. How many can you cater for? Uh, anywhere from 25 to 200. There's a banquet hall downstairs and a bar over there and a volleyball court back there, out there. <laughs> Something right. for everybody all year round. And you don't have to rent the banquet hall. You can rent the bowling center okay. for your party or a corporate event or a Christmas party. Okay, you rent the bowling center and the bar or the volleyball area. Kim, thank you for your time. I'm not going to bowl this round. I'm going <laughs> to sit it out and maybe just stare at this food a little bit more. <laughs> or talk to you right now. I have to share a story to go with the food because I love the stories as well. So we were mentioning Kim's dad, a World War II veteran. He bought the place in 72, sold it to her in the mid-1980s. Uh, he actually still is alive, 96 years young, lives above the bowling alley, went on honor flight two years ago. That's awesome. Yeah. It really is. Just yeah. a, another example of Wisconsin. You know, Milwaukee's rich history when it comes to bowling, the unofficial bowling cap yeah, of the so. world. I think so. Yeah. I think so. After today, yeah. absolutely. It's definitely story. a hometown sport, that's mm -hmm. for sure. You're competitive with yourself, so you're always just trying to improve. I, I like that about it. Last time I was in the league, I was with people that I'd never met before, and we're friends ever since. Definitely not your father's bowling alley. <laughs> With high-tech video and audio systems, even lane-side food and beverage service, colorful entertainment centers like this one at Bayshore are keeping the tradition of bowling alive. Everything is more fun. There's other people around you having fun. My name is Mike Barstow. I'm the vice president of ACX Cinemas. It's our family's company, and we're sitting here at ACX Entertainment located in the Bayshore Mall. We, what we purposefully really wanted to do was bring in the other elements to that, that traditional bowling experience, right? And you're gonna find food and beverage offerings in the restaurant if you're hanging out at a bar or you wanna grab dinner beforehand. We've obviously got the 11 lanes of bowling behind us that is that component. The arcade, maybe you wanna catch a movie. We've got six auditoriums that are playing, you know, whatever the newest, biggest movie is out at the time. Every single lane has a full server that we assign to the bowling alley, so you're, you're treated just like you're sitting at a table in the restaurant for the duration of your, your time on the bowling lane. I think you find yourself just an entertainment destination, right? I, what we wanted to create was just an energy that was fun and inviting for everyone, whether it's you know maybe a family or a kid's birthday party down on one end, or maybe it's a you know college reunion on the other end. In the mood for some old school bowling? There's plenty to choose from, including this vintage venue that draws in locals and visitors alike by honoring its rich history in many ways. We'll check it out coming up on Thursday's Hometowns. 
The year was 1915. Woodrow Wilson was president. Milwaukee was America's 12th largest city. And Falcon Bowl became a certified bowling alley. More than a century later, the sound of bowling balls crashing into 10 pins still resonate from this building on East Clark and Fratney in Milwaukee's River West neighborhood. Amy Gannat is the director of operations here at Falcon Bowl. Amy, this is one of the oldest bowling alleys in all of America. That's right. Falcon Bowl is among the oldest bowling centers that is continuously certified in the United States. And that means that we get measured and approved to be uh, legitimate. So you know that when you bowl your big game that it really counts. Lots of history here and you still do certain things the old fashioned way, don't you? That's right. Being authentic is really important to us. So we have scoring by hand. We don't have computers. And we also oil the lanes by hand. So what's the origin of the name Falcon Bowl? This building that we're here on the corner of Fratney and Clark was owned and operated by the Polish Falcons, which was a fraternal organization uh, for many years. And they had lots of events and uh, fun activities that they did here in the banquet hall and the bowling alley during their time in the building. And I understand you've uh, restored some luster to this hidden gem, haven't you? That's right. We know there are a lot of things about the Falcon that people really love, but over the past year, we've given it a little bit of a new shine with renovations in the banquet hall and in the bar. In the banquet hall, we can have any kind of party that you can imagine. We have dance parties, spaghetti dinners, concerts, weddings, bar mitzvahs, any kind of milestone event that you can think of. Thanks a lot, Amy. A bowling alley, bar, banquet hall. Take a step back in time here at Falcon Bowl.